Hello, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my Cindric Down the Rabbit Hole page, in which I talk about common sense from a Gen X perspective. How you guys like this? Okay, it's pretty nice. I hooked it up myself. I made it fit right around my neck so I can choke myself, okay, every goddamn day. But anyway, let's get on with the topic for today. Today's topic will be about Gen X perspective on alpha, what an alpha is, versus millennials perspective on what an alpha is. So I want to make this real clear. I've been on the internet doing my eccentric, secretive therapy sessions on the side, all right? And so I try to teach a lot of millennials, which are mostly beta men, beta women, and every beta in between, right? So I'm going to make a very clear description of both of these types of alphas. I'm not going to go down the long run, the whole run of the mill of omegas and sigmas because they're all the same basket, all right? Now, if you're from my day and age, born in the 70s into the 80s, you're more likely to agree with what I'm saying. Alphas don't exist. And I'm going to tell you the proof of this. When I was younger, I was 16, back in the 1980s. And before I fully grew up, when I was at the age of 18, 16, 16, I think it was 16, 17, I learned something from one type of alpha male, which don't exist. And most of the time, you, you, you may have heard about the pimps or pimpology or something like that. The true alphas are there in that bracket, right around there. I was told and taught by pimps that a true alpha male it's either about business and, and about family, okay? Also, a true alpha male back in the days now, we are saying back in the days, all right, okay? It's actually an educated, astute brother from another mother, all right? I repeat, a brother from another mother is an alpha. He will not settle. I'm telling you, just like pimps, pimps will not settle for any type of female, right? They have to make their buck. They have to make their money. Me, I fall in the in-between bracket. I'm more of the, on the gigolo side of things. I do services for women. Well, I do services for women, from babysitting to being a virtual boyfriend. I do all sorts of eccentric things that guys don't know and can't comprehend to do. I also went to college for therapy and also um, psychology and also uh, uh, a, a, a lot of things. A lot of things I went to college for. But I didn't graduate, though. But it doesn't really matter. Um... An alpha, a real alpha male, is a man who has his standards so high to where she is willing to crawl to reach that man. All right? She is willing to crawl to reach. She knows his worth. She doesn't use her intuition. She just knows. All right? An alpha male will put an application process in front of you. The pimps do this all of the time. Okay? Now, I don't agree with all of them, but the pimps taught me. And I do agree with what the Italians taught me. The Italians told me that love should be a form of respect, okay? There's no such thing as a platonic affection, feeling sexually attracted to someone. That has to be eliminated. That's not real love, okay? A lot of times you got beta people out there thinking love is some form of sexual attraction. You're attracted to them in some kind of physical attribute. But no, it's not that. To be alpha, you really got to have a lot of things in common. Yeah. So I'm talking about the old school alpha. They don't exist. Alphas who got like these standards in, ed in the educational part department like Umar Johnson, Martin Luther King. But the problem with these individuals is that they're beta in choosing the mates that they're with. Because real alphas will always go for virginity, polygyny, and also focus on family as business. Once that love and that respect is lost, she's automatically disqual She's automatically for the streets. This is why they told me and taught me that women and children are the highest on the liability chart. All right, so now if you have any disagreements with me with that, you can contact me. Now, the millennials, however, version of alphas, okay, is... You can you could break it off in many ways. You can call them omegas, you can call them segments, call them whatever you want. But they have one thing in common. 
emotions. They do not have a high degree of intelligence. They don't because they will, they will put themselves beneath the female. They will begin to trick on women because they don't want to be alone. Okay? These days, uh, millennials call alphas a man who is basically a, a, have a whole bunch of 304s hanging around them. No, that's not an alpha. People look at an image to say, oh, that's an alpha. No, that's not an alpha, dog. That is not an alpha. I'm trying to tell you guys, stop saying someone's an alpha simply because the way they sound. No. Are they walking the walk and talking the walk? So far, I see I'm the only one who's doing this because I got videos. I, I post shit down there in my description box that y'all guys cannot do. Y'all do not get paid from women. Y'all do not get paid. I'm sorry. Okay, most of you guys thinking you, you alpha or some shit. Because the way you sound and no, what do you what do you have to show for it? You guys don't have nothing to show for it. But instead, you'll look at individuals like Kevin Samuels. I started the Kevin Samuels. I started the Passport Brothers, by the way. Just want you to make sure that you understand where it comes from. Roe versus Wade. I do a whole bunch of intellectual stuff behind the scenes in a mystical, more eccentric type of way, though. But trust me on this. When you hear the definition of an alpha on the Internet, that is completely wrong. Because if education is not there at the forefront, that is a beta alpha construct, as a matter of fact. It's not really an alpha. In my book of T, you're a beta. All right? Now, there'll be some trolls calling me a beta, but they don't know me. They don't know what I do behind the scenes. Too bad. That's why I got a Patreon. That's why I got a YouTube. As crazy as it is, right? Ain't no guys like me. Everybody's different. But that's all I really want to say about the new age millennial version of it versus the Gen X perspective. Now, I know there'll be some Gen X that say, oh, I do not condone what he's saying. But fuck you. F screw you. You don't know who the hell I am. Okay? And, and besides, Gen Xers don't really argue anyway. By the way, I'm a Gen Xer. Born in 1974. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Most Gen Xers are beta anyway. Okay? They're beta anyway. So there's no need for me to argue with a Gen Xer who's even Kevin Samuels, who's older than me, didn't have no more knowledge than me. That was strange. He was like 60, and I'm 50 years old. <laughs> I was like, dude, you ain't getting paid. That's how he became popular. One of his videos made him viral. But I would never want to go that viral. I don't never want to be popular. That's not an alpha trait. Okay, Sometimes if you become in your emotion, you become like Frank Lucas, the one who was an American gangster, and Denzel Washington played be a beta alpha cup, walk up to the front of their goddamn boxing ring, get spotted. Okay, no, no, out of sight, out of mind. But anyway, that's all I really gotta say about what an alpha is, because I keep seeing these different versions, variations, but they all fit in the emotional bracket. They don't have no education. They never talk about education. True alphas have education and high standards. I do not believe in a stupid 19s. I believe in holistic. I don't believe in religion because I'm intellectualism, okay? You know, you cannot be into that stuff. If you think inside the box, you are a beta. You are a beta. Trust me on that, okay? A lot of trolls will look at my parents and say, hey, look at this little goofball. But this guy, you guys don't know who the fuck I am. And that's great. And that's why I like to keep it together, you know? But anyway, that's all I really got to say. You know, I get paid child support. Okay, I do polygyny. I do virginity all of the time. I teach women how to properly treat a male. Okay, I treat, I, t I teach uh, uh, everything in between too. Okay, I do a whole list of things. I don't even know who the hell I am. Eee. <laughs> but anyway, I love you all, but I despise the many. Alphas are like this. While the millennials think they're like 25%. But it's okay. Y'all have a nice day because I'm not your average man. I'm not your pizza man. Now I gotta go to pizza. <laughs> Little Caesars get my daughter some pizza and shit, you know. I may be traveling to the Gambia again, possibly this year. I gotta get my passports from my daughters now, okay? Peace.